LIGO and Virgo collaboration together with 70 electromagnetic observational partners have just announced that they have detected this massive collision of two low mass stellar objects hitting each other at an incredibly high speed. In doing so, they perturb the space time for about 20 minutes, producing gravitational waves that LIGO and Virgo detected. With that, they were able to inform observational partners when and where to look. Telescopes of all types were turned into that portion of the sky, and we were followed in all frequencies, getting signals associated to the gravitational wave event, these counterparts, from the gamma ray all the way to the radio. Something happened almost simultaneously uh, with the merger to things that happened even a week or 10 days afterwards, as this energy that gets released gets processed in the very different form. Um, to put things in perspective, only uh, just over two years ago, we were still hoping for the first detection of gravitational waves, and now we're seeing gravitational waves for over 15 minutes, getting all the fireworks that the, the, the universe could, could do at the same time. Um, and this is marking the beginning of what we have for a long time hoped it would be the era of multi-messenger astronomy, where you actually get to ask questions about the universe in gravitational waves and electromagnetic, and these different messengers and the, and the information they bring us will not only be tremendously impactful on the astrophysics front, but also in the ability that we have as researchers to probe fundamental questions about the nature of gravity and some of these most energetic events in the, in the universe.